Welcome back. If someone knows your laptop password, they can look into any files in it, even your personal files. But, once you know how to protect folders by password, on Windows, you'll be able to keep all your files safe and secure from others. Want to know about it? Then stick till the end, and those who are watching, don't forget to subscribe for more tech updates. Let's begin. This method involves creating a special folder that will disappear instantly, requiring a password to be entered to show it again. So, if you want to know how to password protect folders on Windows, here it is. Open the folder you want to protect in File Explorer and right-click on an empty space inside it. Next, hover over New, then click Text Document. Windows wants you to name this text document, but there's no need, as we won't need it for anything else in the later steps. So, simply press enter or return to give this file the default name of new text document. Double-click your newly created text file to open it. Next, enter the text exactly as it appears in your text file. I have given the text in the description. So simply, copy and paste it. You should now see the pasted text inside your file. Locate the 23rd line and replace the text your password here with the password you want to use to lock your folder. Make sure you use a password you'll remember, as you may lose access to your hidden folder, if you forget it. Now we need to turn this bunch of text into a folder locking tool. To do this, click File, then select Save As. Next, click Text Documents in the Save As Type field, then click All Files. In the File Name field, enter Folder Locker.bat, then click Save. You should now see the Folder Locker file appear inside your folder. Double-click the Folder Locker file and the locker folder will appear. You can now delete the new text document file if you wish, since it's no longer needed. Now you know how to password protect folders on Windows. Place any files you wish to protect inside the locker folder, by either dragging the files, or pasting them into the folder. That's the video guys. Hope it is useful, and if you have any suggestions, do comment below, and don't forget to subscribe for more tech updates. See you in the next video, until then, goodbye.